what is a reasonable amount for an employment bond? There is no law, rule, or regulation with respect to how much an employment bond should be. That is why it is up to the employer and it is part of its rights via the management prerogative. However, remember that management prerogative is subject to two limitations. The first limitation is one, good faith, and number two, uh, with due regard to the employee's rights or labor law. So you have those two important limitations to consider when you are designing or thinking of how much the employment bond should be. Remember, the employment bond, again, in relation to good faith, should be reasonable. It is not reasonable if your employee is a minimum wage earner and then your employment bond is for 5 million pesos and then the requirement is that that employee, again, a minimum wage earner, has to be employed with your company for five years. Or let's make it more ridiculous, for 20 years. You can easily know and you can easily determine whether an employment bond is reasonable. Just take a good look at your company in relation to your employee and all other relevant circumstances. However, there are many uh, circulating right now in social media regarding a 500,000 peso employment bond. Now, don't be so quick to judge. Wag padalos dalos. Remember, you have to evaluate the circumstances. Where, where or how or why is that the case? Perhaps this kind of employment bond is with respect to those uh, employees who are high income earners. For instance, in the IT BPO industry, an entry level, meaning even a fresh college graduate has the potential to earn as much as 150,000 pesos. 150,000 pesos. And in some cases, it could even show shoot up to 200,000 pesos. So in such circumstances, the 500,000 pesos actually makes sense because that is almost equivalent to uh, three or four months of compensation. As a general rule, employment bonds, at least in practice, remember there is no law or regulation on the matter, but for the most part, in most companies, employment bond is usually pegged around three to five months or even six months of an employee's pay or compensation. The reason there being is that the three to six months pay is the uh, amount determined by the company of how much it will probably lose after hiring that particular employee and then just simply quitting the company. What employees should understand or remember is that there are costs and expense towards hiring. Particularly again in these kinds of industries wherein some companies would engage a recruitment firm. And this requires payment of also high professional fees. If you consider or think that the fees being paid to recruitment firms or professionals range also from 100,000 to up to 500,000 pesos, then you would slowly and surely and reasonably start to think that the employment bond for 500,000 pesos will make sense. Again, this is unique in this particular situation. Versus, again, in very... Uh, uh, ordinary or simple office setting wherein an employee usually earns about around, around 20,000 pesos or 25,000 pesos, putting an employment bond worth 500,000 pesos over an employee who only earns about 20,000 to 25 pesos is very, very, very unreasonable. 
I would even go further as to say ridiculous. The management is a power tripper. <laughs> I, have, uh, I have nothing else to say. It's just not reasonable or practicable. The same goes also for training bond. There was one time when somebody asked me if it's okay to have a training bond for their employees. I told them, yes, correct. It is a management prerogative. Um, it is for purposes of ensuring that the employee, after getting training, would contribute to the company for some months. But I cautioned them. I told them that, please, 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 make sure your training bond is reasonable. Most training out there is usually pegged at 500 pesos, particularly if it's an online webinar. Some trainings uh, could shoot up or the average uh, rate is around 3,000 to 5,000 pesos. There are more expensive trainings or one day training that could shoot up to 20,000 to 30,000 pesos. So if you are going to make your employee uh, participate in a training that is only worth 500 pesos, please do not make your training bond uh, be equivalent to 500,000 pesos. That is super ridiculous. And if it becomes an issue later on in the labor case, I can guarantee you that it will be inviolated, voided, or declared absurd by labor law courts. So there, again, on the topic of how much or if, if there is a, um, a guide towards the uh, designing of the employment bond or training bond in terms of uh, the law or labor law or regulation, there is no rule. So it will, be, it will be dependent on the employer via his or her or its management prerogative subject again to those two limitations. I will repeat, one, good faith, and two, labor law or the rights of the employees. If you find this informational and educational, please feel free to share, like, and subscribe to this channel. If you want to learn more via mentoring, join our membership program at laborlaw.ph, or you may also sign up with our masterclass programs. See you 